Hi and welcome to uh, another video in the series Productive Emacs. We're looking at how to become productive uh, when using Emacs for uh, editing closure code and closure script code. Um, today we're going to look at code completion. Normally what you would want in your editor is to have a, a form of code completion in your programming language. You don't want to remember everything. You want to be able to just type part of the name and have it expand to um, something that is useful for you at that time. Um, the CIDR manual explains this in the chapter code completion. Surprise. Um, and it is extremely simple to get code completion working with CIDR. You just need to install one package. If you use uh, Emacs for other programming languages, you probably already have it. But for now, let's take a look at what we need to add. Um, uh, Emacs D init.el. Uh, what we need to add is a package called company. Uh, in this case, uh, in my bare closure configuration, which I'm running at the moment, uh, you see that by using the simple use package, we can uh, install the package called company uh, and uh, ensure, make sure that it is installed when a use package is running. I personally like to use Control C slash to do the code completion uh, in case it does not start automatically. Uh, you can use any key binding that you want. This is my preference. Uh, the only configuration that is needed is to tell use config uh, use package to uh, 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 call global company mode when the package is loaded. What that means is that CIDR will know that you use company as a completion backend and it will actually start providing completions. So if we go back to the code, uh, I do not have my normal completion, so I mess up. So let's say that we have a, a function here and let's say that we have a um, closure dot and then I press my uh, binding uh, and it will pop up the uh, possibilities. There's many here. What I wanted to do was use closure string and then uh, evaluate that to, or to complete that to a point that I can pick a, a function from the closure string library. If I type some characters it should automatically start doing it so ask runs into escape uh, if i press backspace it will uh, while being in a completion it will actually keep showing it and now it says there's two functions you see the the f here uh, for function uh, so let's uh, split also has the s starts with many uh, as well split split lines starts with they're all functions uh, what you see here is that the completion is actually an annotated. So it allows for more annotations. So if we just say um, expand here, what would we get? We get a lot of different things, which are all keys or things that are available at this point. So no, I don't want that. Go away. And let's see what methods are. Um, uh, so here we have, well, let's call add because add's not here. Subtract is here because that's my function. Add is down lower. So if we add go here, it said add. And what you see here is that uh, there's an add function, an add class path, and an add watch, an add is actually part of productive core. It shows the namespace uh, and it has a function. So it can also be a macro uh, for M or a variable. So it is quite intuitive uh, when it comes to it. Um, this completion also works 
within there uh, I still type three letters I think it's two three type three and after the uh, idle time it will actually pop up the completion so in your REPL within your Emacs you also have the ability to um, do uh, code completions great so we have that um, if you come from a IntelliJ background you're used to uh, being able to use um, a fuzzy matching on code completion so you uh, type a few letters that are part of a name and it will say well all these these letters are in all these names it's a little more intelligent than that but you get the point there's actually a package that you can install that is called wait for it um, com company flx the fuzzy matching for company and uh, after you value just do the company flx mode plus one and it should work so if you go to our uh, init.el and we do use package company flx ensure team uh, config would be company flx mod plus one would that work let's see what it does so we evaluated it and then So here we see that currently we call an expansion and expansion for the code completion is no longer limited to a function starting or a function macro or variable starting with the characters that we typed but it is also now uh, looking for uh, the combination of characters or the usage of those characters throughout the entire set of um, uh, of the code base uh, for instance here you see bit clear uh, cla with the e in between it matches that if you like this type of completion you're you're welcome to use it i find it to be a little bit uh, too too permissive but it works so and that's all there is to it when it comes to code completion in CIDR. You just enable it and you roll with it. There you go. Hi, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you liked it. Um, if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Um, if you have not done so already, be sure to subscribe to the video right here, I think, somewhere around there. Um, it will keep you up to date with all the live sessions. It will keep you up to date with other videos that I post. If you have never looked at my website, I'm highly recommended, of course. Uh, I write about all the things that I do on YouTube and beyond. It's called www.buildfunthings.com. Of course, the entire channel is called Build Fun Things, so luckily it's the same thing. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.